Welcome to GetChemistryHelp.com. My name is Dr. Kent, and in this video, we're going to work some practice problems on how to determine the formulas of chemical compounds. Now, in our previous lessons, we've seen how to determine the formulas of ionic compounds, molecular compounds, and acids. But in this video, we're going to mix all three together and see if we can determine the correct formula. Now, before you begin, you may want to hop over to GetChemistryHelp.com and download the PDF worksheet that accompanies this video so you can print it out and follow along. So let's just go ahead and jump in here. So lead, Roman numeral two, well that means lead, two positive. Chloride, I tells me it just came from a nonmetal, so chloride must have come from chlorine. And we know the charge on the nonmetals is determined by how far away they are from the noble gases. So chloride is one away, so it needs one electron, so it's just Cl negative. Well, I got a two positive and a one negative, so to balance those out, the two positive needs two of these negatives, so the neutral compound would be PbCl2. How about magnesium phosphate? Well, magnesium is Mg, it lives right here. Okay, all of these metals in group two are two positive, so magnesium is two positive. Phosphate, okay, if it ends in eight or eight, that tells you it's a polyatomic. So phosphate is one that we learned. It's PO4, three negative. Well, a two positive and a three negative don't balance out. So the easiest way is to use our crossover rule. So put a three over here, put a two over here. So if I had three magnesiums, that would give me a total of six positive. And if I had two phosphates, that would give me a total of six negatives. So six positives and six negatives would balance out. How about nitrogen triiodide? Oh, well, tri tells me it must be a molecular compound. So nitrogen, just N, triiodide would be three iodines. So NO3. How about hydrofluoric acid? Okay, this is an acid. So I figure out what the anion is based off of the little clues here. So hydro and ic tells me the anion must have ended in ide. So hydrofluoric must have come from fluoride. Well again, we said fluoride just means a nonmetal by itself. So fluoride would have come from fluorine. Fluorine over here is one away from the noble gases. So it must be one negative. Well how many H pluses do I need to balance out an F negative? Well just one, so HF. And don't forget to put an aqueous in here to show it's an acid. Calcium nitride, calcium is Ca, calcium lives right here. Well, again, all of these in group two are two positive, so calcium is two positive. Nitride, okay, again, ide, non-metal by itself. Nitrogen lives here. Nitrogen is three away from neon, so it must be three negative. So again, to balance out a two positive and a three negative, can use my little crossover rule. So three calciums and two nitrides. So three calciums, that'd be six positive. Two nitrides, that'd be six negative. So that would balance out. 10, four. Well, 10 is SN. The four tells me it's four positive. Oxide. Ide again, non-metal by itself. Here's oxygen. It's two away, so it must be two negative. Well, if I use my crossover rule, I'm gonna get like this, SN2O4. But remember, we have to reduce it down to the simplest ratio. So two to four could be reduced down to SNO2. Because really to balance out a four positive, we only need two of the two negatives. So SNO2 would be the better way. Okay, a few more. Dichlorine heptaoxide, so di means two, so two chlorines. Hepta is seven, so seven oxides, O7, Cl2O7. Sodium hydrogen sulfate. Okay, well this seems to have three ions, so let's figure this one out. Sodium, that's Na. Sodium lives in group one, so all the metals in group one are one positive, so sodium positive. How about hydrogen sulfate? Well, hydrogen is H plus, sulfate is SO4, two minus. So if I combine those to make one happy little polyatomic, 
I would get HSO4. And what would the charge be? Well, positive and two negative would leave me just a negative. So positive sodium, negative hydrogen sulfate would give me NaHSO4. How about our last one here? Try antimony. So that'd be three antimonies. Antimony is Sb3, hexasulfide, so six sulfurs, S6, Sb3, S6. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on determining the formulas for chemical compounds. Of course, as always, you can visit us at getchemistryhelp.com where we have many more videos on naming all kinds of chemical compounds. And we will see you next time. Thank you.